Atlanta's on the hip hop station, Hot 1079. You know what it is, Hood Rich Radio is live on them airways, and we got a very special, 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 special superstar check in today. A repeat offender. Welcome back to Hood Rich Radio, Mr. Two Chains. What's up, sir? Yeah. What up? How you feeling, man? You 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 on the AMW tour right now with Wayne and Tip going around just Rocking crowds, murking crowds. Everybody's on the Instagram saying they had the time of their life and 2 Chains has the best show and this and that and the oh, third. Man. Talk to us, man. You can't listen to everything you hear screen. You got <laughs> you to come see it for yourself. But overall, you know, it's a great show with great camaraderie. Yeah. Um, T.I. being from Atlanta, mm-hmm. um, like myself, and Wayne being like my brother who kind of mm-hmm. catapulted me and helped me get to this this part in the game. Mm-hmm. It's just like a party on stage, man. Um Everybody gets their time to shine. We uh, we all have songs together, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's just fun. And then for me, it's ways on me getting to the city, actually touching the fans, getting geared up for the September 10th release. Right. And, and, and for the last 365 days, the last uh, year, you've probably done a 1,000 shows. Like, mm. how, how do you manage? Do you, do you ever get tired? Do you ever say, man, I want to go home or – is it just the rush of knowing that you wanted to get to this moment and, and, and now people actually demand you and you just comp- – I know you embrace it, but do, do you ever have, like, a human moment where, like, man, I just want to go home? And, nah, you know. man, I, I, um, I pride myself into trying to be a machine type of individual to where it's just nonstop. Right. Um, nonstop getting to it, the grind. I actually get, like um, – you know, I get – I get high off the grind, if, if if you can say so. You right. know what I mean? I get that, you know what I mean? So I enjoy working. I don't like vacations. Even, yeah, yeah. Even when I took my fam um, to London, I actually, uh, when I took my fam to Paris, I still went to the studio with Ye at night. Right. Just to, um, you know, make it kind of like an event for me to just continue working. And, yeah. And that's something that I, I enjoy doing. It took me a minute to get here, as you know, Scream, since, yeah. since day one. It's just been, you know, when you're just trying to convince a whole fan base, a whole world that you got what it takes when there's so many yeah. um, peas in the pot, you know what I mean? It's just like when you finally get here, you never want to take your foot off the um, off the gas. And, yeah. and for me, um you know, I plan on being around. I plan on being consistent. I plan on progressing every ten, chance I get. Now you always been a trendsetter in fashion, since yeah. the duffel bags and 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 uh, you actually inspire me to wear Versace. I have some on now. Thank you, man. I mean, it's just hard for some people to admit. Certain I admit things. it. I admit it. I saw but two I, chains with the Versace on. I said I'm going to the nearest man, Versace store. I appreciate Versace. that. I, I don't. I don't need that for my ego. But when people act like, you know. I wasn't wearing Versace yet. What was that MTV thing I did? I don't know, a long time ago. It was like yeah. the spring blink. Anyway, you know, I had on Gucci in the Duffel Bag video. Right, definitely. Yeah, so it was a situation where I just started wearing, you know, these, you know, tennis shoe game mm-hmm. and all that mm-hmm. because I was into, like, my whole thing was to get some shoes, five or $600, because they would last longer. They wouldn't right. crease in the middle. Right. And, like, with Gucci and things like that, people don't know you can take your bags back, you can take your shoes back, and they'll clean them for you. I didn't know that. Yeah, and yeah. so... um. But now, you know, I got closet full of all kind of like, you know, fresh ass Adidas and yeah. all other kind of stuff yeah. too, you know. One of your comrades, man, Big Sean, got a record with Kendrick Lamar. Let's just talk about this, man. It's called Out of Control. Mm-hmm. Um, I listened to it. I have my opinions. What's 2 Chain's opinion on Kendrick Lamar's verse? Man, I just think it's dope. I just dope. like I like hip hop, man, whatever, rap. Mm-hmm. I just think it's good, man. Whether he said my name or not, you know right. how this stuff is with the Instagram, whatever. I just think it's, I just think it's good, man. Because a lot of times, do you think it woke people up? I'm not sure necessarily it, yourself, but do you think it woke I'm some sure other people up that was just sla- that slacking? Like, honestly, like he said something that a lot of people feel. Mm-hmm. A lot of people feel. You know what I'm saying? A lot of even the names that he named. Mm-hmm. In that category, think they can outwrap each other. Mm-hmm. That's why he named them mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So it was just good for hip hop. You think it's interesting that he didn't name anybody from the South, though? That was my initial opinion on it. it was like, wow, is, it, uh, is anybody in the South worthy of? I mean, Kendrick's attention. I think Tunchi's a bad. Yeah. I think Tunchi's bad. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. 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 I like, I like, I like, but it's not like, I mean, but it's fun. Like, right. I think that's the dope part. Like, it's ain't nobody got to get beat up and right. shot at and stabbed. Right. You know what I mean? Let's see what your bars are about. Mm-hmm. And for me, you know, a lot of th- a lot, uh, the thing with me is um, I have a lot of respect through my my 
peers mm-hmm. through my community. I had that before I had fans. Right, definitely. You know, like came in like DJs, you know, show love. A lot of the artists show love. And then, then I slowly but surely caught on with the fans. But a lot of things that the fans know and like me for or maybe the uh, the, the big booty lines mm-hmm. and, and the things like that, which are basically no-brainers are just creative ways for me to say things that really, you know, really propel my show. Because a lot mm-hmm. of these lines I do are like, for uh, show responses, but at the end of the day, I feel like people in my class, mm-hmm. they know I can, they pretty much know what I can do okay. and, and things of that nature and, and things like that, you know. Mm-hmm. Everybody not, you know, everybody not selling albums, not to say that you have to know how to rap to sell right. albums. Right, definitely. But, you know, I, I don't know, man. You know, and I hated to talk about this because I know it's going to be <laughs> on my Twitter where it's like two chains talks about this first. And I didn't want to be in this. So if, yes. I, if y'all can, like, not I do that. I brought you in and blame it on me. Yeah, if y'all can not do it. that because I see all these um all, all these artists react to this verse. And, like, I, like, I ain't want to just say screen don't ask me that. But, like. Right. I got you. You know, my album coming out September 10th. Definitely. I know, I know we got to have things to make people listen to the interview and stuff like that. Yeah. For the most part. September 10th is a big day, brother. Boats 2, based on the true story 2. Yeah. Me Time, talk to us about it. Uh, Me Time is the subtitle for Boats 2. Mm-hmm. Not only do I think it's my time, I feel like when people talk about my music, it's 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 always compared to something that, that they, they like taking them away from stress or, right. or strenuous or just, mm-hmm. you know, kicking it or you know, going to the gym or going on a road trip. Right. You know, my, my CDs is, 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 is has the music that gets you through these things, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And, and uh, you know, I have something on my CD that you put in while you're taking a shower, and you know what I'm saying? You get out, you get dressed to something else, and then you and you get in the car, you're listening to something else, and then you get to the club, it's something else, it's mm-hmm. something else, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I think for a long time, I ain't had nothing to play while I was in the shower. <laughs> okay. We respect that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or working out, music, I feel you. What's going to be the difference between Boats 1 and Boats 2? Because, you know, like even with movies, like sometimes the first one is just so great, and then the sequel is like man, hard for I'm the excited. sequel to, to measure I'm up excited, to the first man. one. You just excited? excited? Yeah, because, you know, Scream, this is like my, um, you know, I did eight mixtapes. Definitely. So two you, player circle albums. Okay, great. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited. excited. And then each one up till last album was better than, you know, because, you know, yeah. I couldn't beat True Religion. Right, right, but right. But I couldn't beat Trap of Belly. Right, right, But I right. couldn't, you know, just going all the way back. So. Right, definitely. Then you drop Boats, and it's like, okay, I ain't know if I was going to rock with that because it didn't sound like this. And it's going, you know, so. I'm excited about September 10th me time. Yeah. Um, great production. You know I'll be giving away a lot of the information to right, the last right. minute. Um, I wish we could get one feature. That, yes, uh, for real. Just one. Yeah, man. Got real. a song called Fez is really, watching. I didn't hear yeah, that. Man, it's crazy. You need to check that out. <laughs> I'm gonna be fresh as hell. Fez watching, and then I got one with Cat One. Where you been? That's okay. crazy. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. Cool. Obviously, you have a personality. You've been on TV, so yeah. a lot of people enjoy that. So can, can we look forward to more of that? Yeah, if it doesn't take away from my my rapping right okay. now. Um, so that's first. Right now, I know it's some rappers that want me to go do movies. I'm sure they want me to okay. chill. Respect that. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you say about it, <laughs> swag or not, right? getting to the money <laughs> is what he's doing. Right. Yeah. And he ain't going to stop no time soon. <laughs> yeah. And this album going to do better than the last album. Uh-oh. Yeah. Because uh-uh. I work my ass off. That you do. And that's what it is, bro. This tour, I'm on this tour, and after this, I'm going to start another tour. I don't plan on sitting down for a minute. So that's it. It's, this is my therapy. Okay. I need help. So I don't want to pay no shrink. Okay. So I take it out in the booth, and then I'm going to put it out September 10th. Mm-hmm. And I ain't going to say I hope y'all like it. I just appreciate the love and the support that I'm going to get before it happened and and during and after, if I don't have a chance to come back up here, due to the point I'm always been on down road all the time. Yeah, yeah. But just you know, Atlanta is is the is the you know what I mean it's the yard. It's like your backyard. It's like your trap where you come from. And yeah. you know, if it weren't for this, I couldn't go other places and mm-hmm. you know talk all that cash. So for me, Southside College Park, Old Nat, very much a part of the genetic makeup, and uh, that made me. You know what I'm saying? ATL made me. You know what I mean? So I'm a product of that. And whether someone mentions it, anybody in the state or not, man, we got upcoming talent. We got existing talent. Mm-hmm. 
and and we're gonna be around for a minute. I feel like a lot of people are mimicking what we we do down here anyway. So of course, it is what it I is. agree with you. I'm glad you said it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I feel like since bro said we might just say whatever now. Just say yeah, what you've yeah, been say, with. Say, say, well, tell us how you feel. Minds. Yeah, Who tell them how you feel. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to deal with that in a tasteful way because you know, yeah, some people can't get sensitive. There you go, man. Salute to Two Chains for coming through Hood Rich Radio Boat September 10th. Yeah. Featuring Two Chains. Two Chains. <laughs> two Chains. Make Del sure you- appreciate that. Salute to him for stopping uh, through, man. You know what it is. We're going to get into this joint with Pharrell. Fair's watching. Shout out to the management as well. Shout out to everybody. Uh, all the DJs for sure. Definitely 107.9. Let's get it. Let's get to it.